Hello, I'm Yadira Sanchez and I'm currently a PhD student at the University of Southampton where I will be carrying interdisciplinary research using data science and artificial intelligence methods to study community resilience in Mexico with my community and other communities. Um, within this, I will be carrying what is called participatory design in research on software development with these communities. Why participatory design? Um, I am also a software developer and I have been for a year and a half. I started at a small company called Alliance as a junior developer and then I moved into a company called Unilink as a test and development engineer that does suffer for the prison and probation service in the United Kingdom. Um, I have carried uh, research projects during last summer at the University of Southampton as a technical researcher within the UK context. Uh, here I use data science methods to collect and analyze and visualize um, data from social media. I am also involved in some collective activities around technology and artificial intelligence. Uh, here in the UK, I am part of a collective called Women in AI Ethics, which is based in the United States, but it has regional reps around the world and I am um, helping with the United Kingdom and Mexico um, regions or chapters. So the idea is to bring women and recognize women around the world where, that are doing some work or activism or activities around artificial intelligence ethics. Uh, I'm also a part of a collective group of researcher, researchers, activists, community uh, leaders back home in Mexico called Rewriting of Technologies, in which we looked at the different narratives for creating technologies and taking into account communities that are sometimes not part of the design. So what are my plans for this fellowship is to develop workshops at universities and other uh, centers that might be interested, but mainly universities because that's my closest proximity right now in running workshops of what's called anti-racist human center, center computing. Um, why this? Why it's so important to have an anti-racist methodology when doing social science research and are creating software. I think it's, I have been involved with both and as a racialized person living in the United Kingdom and working within the tech industry as well, I have realized that um, racism is not talked about and also it's not talked about in the academic uh, industry. So I am, my idea is to bring together computer science students and social science students to share this space and interchange ideas around how to create software that has to do with social science or not, but which may impact society, racialized or marginal or other marginalized communities. So the idea is to go beyond inclusion and go into real human-centered computing by involving as many as people as possible. Um, so yeah, this idea is to use the funds to buy speakers in, in areas that have to do with unconscious biases uh, from academia, from the tech industry, activists and our community leaders that may look and talk to, to all of us about the limitations of technology as well and the racial oversight. And I think it's really important to look at how harmful algorithms in software that may be racist or marginalizing others, it's racist in the end software or marginalizing, marginalized software. So the idea is to do these workshops and spaces that um, will help us to also create truly sustainable software. Awareness workshops with these researchers will help us in making software that could directly or indirectly impact society. So as again, the idea is to run this at universities with computer science and social scientists as well as other research centers that may be interested in this. Um, and that's it. I hope uh, that this is taken into consideration and I look forward to hear back from you. Thank you.